Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.3720 for the version 23H2. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have the same new features related to narrator and voice access that we have on the Canary channel. For example, related to narrator, users can now use voice access to dictate text hands-free. And related to voice access, there are two new features, auto restart for voice access, which can help individuals with limited mobility to get back to using voice access as it automatically restarts, and also new voice access command for Windows search. Talking about Windows search, we have a new feature related to Windows search or the search box. If you go and search for a local file, for example, I'm going to search for a file here, you're going to have the new option to share that file and click on the share button you're going to have the share section which you can use to share your file to an email of course to a phone to a connected device and other apps and i think this is pretty useful also related to windows share if you're in china and turn on nearby sharing you'll receive a notification asking to allow turning on wi-fi and or bluetooth should these settings be off as wi-fi and bluetooth are required to be enabled for nearby sharing to work also microsoft is giving up the pwa copilot app in the beta channel as well so you're only going to have in the near future the Copilot app, which is, in my opinion, pretty much useless in Windows. Of course, you can ask questions, you can search for information, you can generate articles and so on, but it cannot do anything related to Windows. Maybe that will change in the future, but right now, this app is not really as exciting as the PWA app was. And Microsoft is also introducing suggested replies and phone link for Android, also on the better channel. This will basically allow you to see some contextual relevant reply bubbles to choose from when you receive a message. And this is also pretty interesting. Interesting. Related to fixes, we have some fixes related to the file explorer. So Microsoft fixed an issue where when pressing Win plus E, a screen reader might unexpectedly say pain had focus, or focus may not be set within file explorer at all. Fixed an issue which was causing control plus F to sometimes not start a search in file explorer. And also fixed an issue where keyboard focus might get lost sometimes when doing shift plus tab in file explorer. Related to known issues, there is also a new known issue related to the start menu. Clicking your profile icon on the start menu and then choosing change account settings will not open account settings. If you need to adjust your account settings, you can navigate directly to them via settings and accounts. And also if you go to system and then optional features, settings may crash. If you need to install any optional features, do that before upgrading to this latest build. So this is pretty much all there is to the latest beta channel build. If you want to see more in-depth info, you can check out the official Microsoft blog post and also the article below from the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.